Hi guys, this is Joe from Bailey Design and in today's Blender short tutorial we're going to be using the bevel modifier to bevel the top part of this cup. Now when you normally use the bevel modifier it will attempt to bevel all of the geometry but we just want it to bevel the very top of this cup in this case. So that means we're going to be using something known as a vertex group. So for us, step one here involves going into edit mode and selecting the appropriate geometry. So go into edit mode. I'm going to go into vertex selection mode. Hold the alt key and left click to select all of my vertices around the top. You'll notice at the moment we've got the solidifier modifier active. That's perfectly fine in this case. But if you were to apply your modifier and you would end up with geometry both on the inside and outside of the lip of the glass, you would need to select both of those edge loops if you wanted to use them in your vertex group. But for now, with this model, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Object Data tab and then I'm going to come to where it says vertex groups and click on this plus button. Now I can name this vertex group anything I want. And if I double left click and just name it what it is, so it's going to be the lip of the glass. And then this is very important. We need to click assign in order to assign all selected vertices to this vertex group. To confirm that they are selected, we can press deselect and select to ensure that all of these vertices have been assigned to the active vertex group. Step two will be to go back into object mode and then go back to our modifiers tab and add our bevel modifier. Now, even though we've created our bevel modifier, at the moment, it's creating bevels across our entire model. Now, again, we just want it to do the top. We want it to do the lip of the glass. So in order to do that, we're going to have to tell this modifier that we only want to use the lip vertex group. And we can do that by coming down to limit method, left click where it says vertex group, left click in the box and select lip. Now, the bevel modifier is only using the modifier on the lip of the glass and not the rest of it. Then the final step is just making adjustments so that the object in question looks the way you want. So if we look to increase the number of segments to something that we want, and at the moment I think my glass is a little bit on the thick side, so I'm going to reduce the thickness and as I do that you can see these little artifacts appear, these dark artifacts. Now this happens often when we're using modifiers like the solidifier and bevel modifiers and we end up with overlapping geometry because of those modifiers. Here it's simply a case of making sure that the width value for the bevel modifier is lower than that of the thickness value for the solidifier modifier. So here I'm just going to reduce this to something smaller and then maybe just increase that thickness back up again to just get rid of those artifacts. So it's just all about finding the appropriate angles in that case. The reason why you would do this instead of just using the normal bevel tool is because with modifiers we have a non-destructive workflow. So we can, as long as we don't apply the modifiers at any point, make these adjustments. Whereas if you used the actual bevel tool in Blender and then used the tool after that, Whatever adjustments you made with the bevel tool are permanent unless you start using control C and start going back in time. So that's why in scenarios like this, it might actually be a better option to create vertex groups and then use the bevel modifier to bevel those vertex groups. Thanks guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you in the next one.